come to an end, including this prom. But we got a couple of songs left, so let's make them count. Class of 2002, how y'all feeling? <laughs> Hard to believe it's been 20 years since that night. After graduation, we all went our separate ways, but I still like to think about my old friends and smile. Shelly Hines graduated first in our class, then went to Harvard, where she graduated dead last. I guess our high school just wasn't that good. Tessa White got married and had two beautiful daughters and one fat, ugly son. As for Rachel Finster, well, the less said about her, the better. Dana Miguel made good on her promise to hike the Appalachian Trail. She remains missing to this day. <laughs> Trina Dash played D1 soccer in college and won a national championship. She should have been happy, but she never got over Rachel Finster sleeping with her dad. <laughs> Darius Caldwell eventually made it to the pros. Professional pornography. <laughs> He's worked with all the greats, even Rachel Finster. <laughs> As for Carly Hill, she moved to West Virginia after high school and married a miner, a coal miner, who was 16 years old. <laughs> Billy Wendell followed his dreams. Unfortunately, he only dreamed about killing his grandparents. <laughs> Dougie Finnegan never stopped inventing things. And eventually, one of those inventions made him rich. Fentanyl. Maybe you've heard of it? Rachel Finster sure has. <laughs> Class sweethearts Becca and Robbie made a vow to lose their virginities that night. And they both did. To the DJ. <laughs> Some people had happier stories, like Natalie Turner, who was granted the first gay marriage license in the state. We all went to the wedding. Even Rachel Finster, who was there protesting with her hateful church. <laughs> Some years later, Jeff Ahmed reached out to Rachel to try to talk some sense into her. And it worked. They started dating and eventually moved in together. His body was never found. <laughs> Some of our friends surprised us. Carla Andretti followed her mother's footsteps all the way to the US Capitol building on January 6th. <laughs> and how can we forget Amy Fulton? Well, I'm not sure how, but we all did just completely forgot about her, like she didn't exist. And then there's Peter Liu, who left a huge mark on Broadway after he threw himself off the roof of the Winter Garden Theater to protest the COVID rules. Herschel Williams, he became a writer. His first book, Friend of the Devil, Growing Up with Rachel Finster, was a bestseller. Time took us all in so many different directions. But for a brief moment, we were all there together, dancing the night away, with our whole lives ahead of us. Except for me. I was murdered by Rachel Finster, and my soul cannot cross over until she is brought to justice. 